Here with Coach G. What's good, Jay? My man, you already know. Show it. All right, what's popping today, Jay? Um, just got finished working. Uh, my guy from Penn, a couple of my Penn guys. Um, finishing up and trying to stay cool on this hot day, cause that's it for the rest of the day. Yo, it's like 98 outside. Crazy, dude. right? Yeah, I ain't coming out till nighttime. Yeah. <laughs> Jay, there was a fight this past Saturday. Okay. Jerron and his. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Stop. Castillo Clayton, two rounds. Didn't really, didn't seem like he really broke a sweat or anything like that. What was your thoughts on that fight? Man, so first of all, I had um, the privilege of being, you know, up there at the camp for a couple weeks. You know, Paul Kroll and myself went up there to help him out with some sparring. Um, so it wasn't my first time being around him. But, um, man, it's, it's kind of like he leaves you speechless. Um, it's not even all, it's like, confusion all over, like when you watch it, if that makes a little, I think you know what I mean when I say yeah. that, um, yeah, so, so my, my opinion of, of Boots is, he has three aspects of fighting, like it's, in my opinion, like three aspects of fighting, you got great technical fighters, you got the athletic fighters, and you just got the mean dog, the brawler, so I feel like Boots covers, you know, all of those categories, so number one, um, he understands distance, he understands range, he understands how to use a jab, um, he sets traps, um, he has ring generalship, um, like a great technical fighter, you know what I mean? He understands how to pace himself, how to breathe, um, but he has all the instinct, the speed, uh, power, strength, agility. Um, natural reflexes of a great athlete. Um, and then last but not least, man, he applies mental pressure like a brawler. Um, he's turning, he's, he's throwing shots from different angles, he's switch hitting on you, he's never backing up, he's in your face the whole time. Um, so when you put those three together, like legit together, like no gimmicks, it's, man, it's, it's gonna be tough for anybody to beat that kid, man, period. It's period. And, and again, I mean, I think we talked about this a little bit. Now, I don't know him that well, and I may be mistaken, but in my opinion, it looks like he's starting to get a little agitated, a little a little mean. Not with, like, the general people around him. He's a super cool guy. Like, for example, I was out there, we talked a little bit about basketball, and then right after that, I just noticed a little, like a little, you know what, all right. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm, I'm not playing anymore, period. Mm. So, yeah, I'm definitely starting to see the killer yeah, come out. Yeah, man, that's, and that's scary. That's scary. You you did a couple of sparring sessions up there. Did you see this coming? Like, what he did to Castillo Clayton? Did you see in camp, like, oh, shit, this dude. As soon as the fight started and Clayton came out with the high guard, I said, oh, it's over. You can't defend against a, a 50 cal Gatlin gun. You got to fire back. You have to. You're not going to just stand there and block. So as soon as that happened, his boots start touching him, start touching him, shift those arms out. You know, if you see him work, when he start getting like that, it's like, okay, it's not going to last long at all. Yeah, you that's a sign I mean? that he's really comfortable. He's super comfortable. He, know, he already knew what he was going to do. So basically, he just kept, you know, pawing the jab. He switched to that southpaw jab, started stuffing it in there. Got him to a spot where he couldn't back up. Just turned it over and got him out of there. Again, it's ring generalship, distance, all that crap. But then the power, it's, it's, it's crazy. YSL Sports Media is the truth. You don't have to go nowhere to get all of your boxing news. We got it right here. No gossip, just boxing. YSL is always on top it. Hit the like and subscribe so you don't miss a thing when I drop it. YSL Sports Media. YSL Sports Media.